Last September, I received a phone call informing me that my estranged father had died alone in his home at the age of 57. Naturally, I was shocked by this news, and four hours later, boarded a direct flight to Chicago to confront a highly difficult emotional time. One of the worst moments for me was actually his funeral, where I was surrounded by people who I had not seen since I was a little kid to say goodbye to a man who I had not known since I was 12. One of the people at his funeral presented me with this mysterious photo album and told me that although they're not sure who the album belonged to, they suspect it's a family treasure. What's more, they noted that the photographs inside the album looked like they were taken in Poland. Knowing that I live my life in Poland, they wanted me to investigate whether or not these photos were indeed taken in the country and to whom the album may have belonged. When I returned home to Warsaw, I opened the album to investigate and see if maybe I would recognize some faces. And there was really little detail. We had some postcards from Poland and some quite blurry Polaroid pictures. But on the first page was a newspaper clipping of an American soldier who apparently died in a plane crash in the city of Womyanki. It simply said, Walter Szymczak, American hero for a Polish cause. Naturally, this gave me a little bit of criteria that I could investigate, so I headed to the city of Womyanki with my daughter, and we took some before and after pictures at locations that we recognized from a ceremony which happened there. Unfortunately, the before and after pictures did not reveal any clues as to who the album belonged to, but at least we had a general premise for where the photos were taken. So I spent a little more time with this photo album, and I decided to actually remove some of the pictures. Uh, the first photo in here was taken probably in the city of Chicago and it has a boy named Casey. I don't know who that is but what was interesting to me was the newspaper clipping I discovered under that photo. This clipping revealed more information. Bernie Shimshak was surprised when he recently received an official invitation from the mayor of Womyanki and the Polish Veterans Association to visit the monument erected to the memory of his brother. The newspaper clipping goes on to invite other people who have Polish heritage to visit Poland with Bernie Szymczak in the honoring of his brother who died during the Second World War in the city of Wamianki in the year of 1989. Now, the year 1989 was very interesting to me because in America we were still kind of uh, under the influence of Cold War paranoia and visiting the communist state of Poland was a highly unusual uh, tourist trip, let's say. So I couldn't imagine who from my family may have been on that trip. As many Americans, I have Polish heritage, and this led me to believe that indeed one of my relatives was here in Poland taking the photos that ended up in this book. I decided to make a sixth generation family tree using Ancestry.com, and I narrowed down my hunt in some simple but logical ways. I started off by crossing out anyone who was not of Polish descent, so that ruled out about half of my family. Then I crossed out anyone who was too old or too young to have visited Poland in 1989. To my amazement, this exercise left me with only one possibility. My great-grandmother from my deceased father's side, Estelle. I recalled as a child that Estelle would send my toys and old clothing to some contacts she had in Poland. I hadn't thought much of it since, and her visit to Poland would have been a narrow window because her husband died one year before 89 and she passed away in 90. But I was certain that if any relative of mine had created the photos in this album, it was indeed my great-grandmother, Estelle.
After comparing some photographs of my great-grandmother, I can loosely confirm that this probably was indeed her photo album. However, I'll never know for sure. And what's worse is that there's no one living to confirm the stories behind this trip. Bernie Shimchak passed away in 2005. His counterpart here in Poland, although he took a phone call from us, is in poor health and was unable to really give an interview or confirm any information about my great-grandmother. And this made me really have an appreciation for the ferality of family stories. I decided to go back to Womyanki for one more visit to just see the place that the tour group walked and get a sense for what their experience may have been. And it really made me feel nostalgic. All right, this is one of the places that really jumped out of uh, the photo album at me and helped me identify where the pictures were taken. It is the statue that commemorates the soldiers which died here in the Second World War supporting the Warsaw Uprising. It's really neat to think that a distant ancestor once stood in this place and took a photo of her friend, Bernie, who was standing right there. All right, it's most probable that in this place, my great grandma took the photo of all the city people commemorating the soldiers. Now, it looks a lot different because many trees have grown, but that tree right there with the perfect circular shape to it was probably the one standing in 89. There are a lot of houses which have been built since then and things have changed, but uh, it is definitely the same place. I'm pretty sure that another family photograph was taken here, but it looks a lot different today. So I'm standing in the place where great grandma took a photo of her group's tour bus. So Estelle was seriously Catholic, and I'm sure that she was thrilled to visit this Catholic church, probably take the sacrament, I don't know, maybe even give confession. And uh, what can I say? I'm thrilled to revisit the place that she cherished. I met Estelle Miss Livietz, and I remember her as a kid. She made me some fish soup that I didn't like, and she took me shopping for back to school. And uh, I can so clearly remember visiting her with her in Chicago. But this is so extremely random and bizarre to be standing in a church in a city of Womyanki, where it's strange that I'm even here with the knowledge that she had actually visited this place uh, during the last year of her life. And there I was, revisiting the places my great-grandmother walked on what may have been the trip of her lifetime. It made me wonder if she could have ever suspected that her great-grandchild would not only revisit those places, but would live just 14 kilometers away with his children. It also made me wonder if any of my legacy will be rediscovered by descendants generations from now. If perhaps this video might be seen by my daughter's children's children. And if it is, what message would they take away? Well, I hope that if they see this, they will know that their great grandfather led an amazing and beautiful life.